Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I had a viewer or a subscriber today send me an email and a link to a video on how to do this exact same thing. But in that video, uh, to me, they kind of took the long way around uh, from the way I do things. In the video, and I'll just kind of show it real quick, you had a font, and you go to the outline tool, and you make an outline of, let's say, 10 points black and it's going to make your font well end up being red I want black makes your font a little bit thicker and then click on your font and make a duplicate of that font and then make you a, another outline smaller and make it white so you basically get the same effect with the exception that that white will actually engrave on some computer or some lasers and we'll put that to the back of the page and you can see the white outline is uh, non-transparent so it's gonna uh, like if you did a fin finish a piano finish plaque it's gonna show through just lightly touched it so this is the way to do it and you can see it's transparent so we're just going to do it real quick. We'll delete this one out of the way. We'll put a new one up top. And this is really, really easy. The font is 9 inches tall. So we'll make our nudge factor 11. We're going to take our font. We're going to left click, right click, then go to effects, contour, and check outside contour, two steps at point two or your whatever you want to make it however thick you want to make it and it makes a double contour line because we did two steps now let's just zoom out a little bit let's get our smart fill tool and let's fill in that f and let's move it up fill in the o the n the t now grab that fill in that outer line with black and now you have that exact same font and you could change it and as you can see in between the lines is transparent because there's nothing there anyway hope that helped a little bit thank you for watching